happening everybody it's Scott here and I'm back I've got uh, a little product that I got sent I get sent stuff sometimes when you have a YouTube channel companies want to send you stuff and they want you to review it some stuff I don't review because it's awful other things I do review because they're actually pretty cool and this is one of those things this is the Moen Sport LED light and it's this tiny little waterproof LED light. I'm gonna tell you the specs of this light really quick. I actually don't know how much this light costs, so I should probably look that up too. This will do 1200 lux, so it's really bright. Uh, it's got a quarter inch tripod screw on the bottom here. Are you gonna focus on that, Mr. Fujifilm? There we go. Quarter inch tripod screw on the bottom. It's got a magnetic charging port here on the back, which is also a magnet, so if you have something metallic, like this piece of metal, it will stick to it and will, you can mount this anywhere with this metal. Uh, and the charging port itself is this little USB-C cable that just magnetizes onto the back. Um, I would have rather had this be USB-C so that I could charge it with I basically don't like having to bring other cables with me, and this makes it so that I have to do that, but uh, I don't know, pretty minor thing I guess, but USB-C would have been nice. So uh, this thing's waterproof up to, waterproof up to 10 meters, which is around 30 feet, just over 30 feet. Uh, it lasts, <laughs> this stat they give you is amazing. It lasts 10 hours uh, at 2% brightness and we'll get to all the brightness and color settings in a sec here, but like 2% brightness. Uh, and it lasts 40 minutes at 150% brightness. It's pretty cool, it comes with uh, this little uh, cover that goes on the front, so this just snaps onto the front of the light and you can actually slide color gels inside of it to change the color of the light, so it comes with five different gels, red, neon, yellow, blue, green, and orange. It also comes with this little diffuser, so it's like a little dome, and this just clips in kind of bayonet style into this light, and I'll turn it on here. Uh, oh, I still have it hooked up to the app, hold on. So that's another thing, there's an app that controls this. Okay, so that, um, that's the light at 10% brightness with 50% warm, 50% cool light. You can turn off um, the cool light and just have it be warm. You can turn off the warm light and just have it be cool. Uh, you can turn the brightness way up. Uh, you can make it flash. You can do all kinds of crazy strobe effects with it which is pretty cool. The app itself is really, really simple. I'm just gonna show you the, the screen of it here. Um, it just basically shows you some basic information about the device at the top here, and then your different controls here, so your color and your brightness, uh, and then there's an on-off switch here. There we go, we just turned it off. Uh, and then there's another mode over here where you can go in and change uh, your strobe settings. I think this thing's about 60 bucks US, which uh, that's pretty cool for a light like this. So kind of one thing I want to look at here is if this light is a viable light for um, a few things. There's, there's a couple things I would use this light for. The first thing I would use this light for was for travel. Uh, there's a lot of scenarios where, I'll take this cover off so you guys can see it naked. Um, there's a lot of scenarios where when I'm traveling I want to bring a light with me and I have a rechargeable LED light. I did a video about it I think last fall and it's good but it's not that rugged and I do worry about breaking it whereas this one seems quite a bit more rugged. It's very solid and well built like it feels like a solid chunk of plastic like it's not hollow it's just solid. I'm gonna turn that off because I'm blinding myself. So there's a few scenarios where I would use this. I've got this little accent light back here, but I've always kind of wanted to light up just like directly behind me. So I'm actually gonna set this up with a gel in it behind me and just have it shining up as like an accent light. What do you think, you guys think blue? Let's do blue. Uh, let's do blue, hold on, I'm gonna set that up. All right, so I've got a little blue accent light going on behind me there now. I'm just looking at it over my shoulder. It's pretty cool, I think I could, if I spent a couple more seconds like 
actually putting it on a little tripod and aiming it at the wall, it would probably work better than the way I have it right now. Uh, another thing that I would want to use it for for traveling is just having a light for sit down videos like this. I tend to like to do videos in hotel rooms, sitting at like the desk in the hotel room telling you guys about where I am and what camera gear I've brought with me and stuff. And I would normally have like a little tripod like this Manfrotto. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to stick this diffuser on it and I'm going to turn off my other lights and just use this and see how it looks. I'm not going to change any settings on the camera. I'm going to get way down here. All right, so that's... Uh, that's it. It's not, uh, I mean, it's kind of an unfair comparison. I've got uh, some pretty bright studio lighting here, but I mean, as for like a vlogging light or something, if you're out at night and you've got this on, say, the hot shoe of your camera or something, and you want to do like a, did this thing just turn way off? Yeah, it did. So you've got this thing on your camera and you want to do like a vlog and you, you've got a light that'll light you up. So as far as a studio light, I mean, that was pretty optimistic, failed miserably. But I think for a vlogging light, this is definitely something you could use. I think it is probably bright enough and maybe if I don't diffuse it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's way better. So, I mean, it's not the softest, nicest light, but it's definitely light and it's better than nothing. So let me turn the studio lights back on here and I'm going to tell you if I think that this thing is actually worth it or not. I kind of feel like I'm in Star Wars right now. Okay, so as far as rugged, small LED lights go, this one is fairly affordable for 60 US dollars. Um, there's a lot of other lights out there with these kind of specs. I'm just going to turn that off. With these kind of specs that I think you'd be hard pressed to get a similar experience out of. Uh, the brightness level is pretty impressive and just as an extra light to have around the studio and to be able to throw in my bag and take traveling with me, I think that this is going to be a really nice addition to my kit, especially like I said for traveling. I keep saying traveling because I love traveling and I wish I was traveling right now. Yeah, so I'm always conflicted when I get sent free stuff like this because, I mean, I got it for free. I'm not getting paid to make the video, but they did send me the item for free. And I do think that it's a very handy little light, and I think the price is very reasonable for what it is. And yeah, I would have a hard time not recommending this, but I just want to say that this is not paid. They haven't asked me to give a positive review. They just asked me to give a review, but I think this light is actually very cool. Now, I believe the company that makes this light is... So the company that makes this light my table's all crooked here, you guys. Why didn't you tell me? Is the same company that makes Moza gimbals. So, I mean, it's a it's a well-known uh, brand in the camera community, and I think it's fairly well-respected. I know the Moza Air is a, uh, a very good gimbal, and this light seems very, very high quality. And if you compare it to something like the Loom Cube or something like that, I think it's very competitive and I think it's worth checking out. So I'm not getting any kickbacks from it or anything. I'm just gonna to link to uh, the website for this product and uh, go check it out if you're looking for a small, versatile LED video light, because I think this one is pretty cool. I will say I think it's pretty crazy how much this diffuser just kills the brightness of this light. Like I would have thought it would be uh, not even close to that bad. All right, that's it, you guys. Um, thanks for stopping by. The next video will be, I believe, uh, my first impressions of the Fujifilm X-T30, which I've been shooting with for about a month now. It's kind of unlike me to wait this long to make a video on something, but it is my own camera, so I don't really have a timeline to send it back. And I'm just taking my time and enjoying using it as an owner as opposed to a reviewer. Um, but I guess I'm both. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.